You're watching Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. This week we're introducing Gandhi, Behind the Mask of Divinity by Colonel G.B. Singh. The edition that we're looking at is hardbound and was published in 2004 by Prometheus Books in the United States of America. As you can tell from the title and even the way that the cover art is portrayed, this is not your everyday biography on Mohandas Gandhi, the civil rights leader from the subcontinent who gained international notoriety in the early part of the 20th century. What this book is, is the result of decades of research by G.B. Singh into the personality of Mohandas Gandhi, particularly looking at some of his own writings and works and the things that he did and the experiences that uh, made him in the early part of his life in South Africa. This book deals with the idea of racism and the Mohandas Gandhi that we all know of whether we live in the West or in the East is not the Mohandas Gandhi that Colonel G.B. Singh presents in this book. While for many that might make this a controversial work that they choose not to pick up, they would be making a great mistake because this is an eye-opening account into Mohandas Gandhi and as the title says, behind the mask of divinity with which he has been portrayed, particularly by the West in the 20th century. This book consists of seven parts across 30 chapters and some 300 pages. Prefixed by an introduction and with a closing conclusion, this work does not read as a narrative and instead focuses on specific areas of Mohandas Gandhi's life particularly pertaining to his relationship with black people and lower caste people. Whilst poring over the meticulous details contained herein, it's easy to start considering this as an academic text. However, that shouldn't put you off from trying to read it, nor indeed the depth and length of this particular work. It is the kind of book that you can pick up and read from time to time. It is very well referenced, contains an appendices, a glossary, an index, and also a number of relevant quotes across every single chapter. The primary sources make this particularly interesting throughout, as do the footnotes and references that go to show Colonel Singh went to great detail to gather all of his information before drawing his conclusions. Part one of the book is titled The Gandhi Propaganda Machine, looking at how the myth of Mohandas Gandhi has been perpetuated. Parts two to four look at how Mohandas Gandhi developed his ideology and thinking in South Africa, whilst part five focuses on the post-World War I Gandhi movement looking back to South Africa. Part six, Gandhi and the Black People of India talks about how Gandhi viewed caste, whilst final part seven, Gandhi whites and ethnic cleansing looks at an overall way in which Gandhi viewed peoples of the world. The book also contains a select bibliography that is actually quite detailed and provides numerous other sources to read about this particular topic. G.B. Singh was a military man throughout his whole life and an avid student of Indian politics, Hindutva and of course the life and times of Mohandas Gandhi. But what he has produced in this work seems, in my eyes anyway, to have instigated a movement to reinterpret Mohandas Gandhi in the 21st century, and rightly so. There were a number of hands at work placing the mask of divinity onto Gandhi throughout the 20th century. But in these times, there is no reason for us to not look back at who he was as an individual 
and start to consider why those people were placing that mantle onto the individual that was Mohandas Gandhi. It's no coincidence that G.B. Singh's research into Mohandas Gandhi began in earnest following the release of the Hollywood blockbuster by Richard Attenborough on the life of Gandhi that came out in 1983. It was work such as that that helped to popularize Gandhi across the entire globe, more than just an icon but becoming a legend. And it is certainly time to reconsider how accurate that is. But we want to know what you think, so please leave us a comment below and let us know what you think of Gandhi, Behind the Mask of Divinity by G.B. Singh. Join us again for another cover to cover at Nonjuani, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.